I shot him in the face with 12 gauge magnum, right through the nose from two feet away. It threw him back so hard, it broke his neck. You couldn't tell who he was. I chopped off his hands with an ax, then his head, buried it all in different places, hoping he can never be pieced back together. Habeas corpus, no body, no crime. It was no crime to shoot that bastard. That's what I did last night in my sleep. The first time I saw Don Gucci for real was at the Robinson's party. With an erection, he was coming across the room, drooling toward my girlfriend, Kate. I wanted to punch him out. She was flattered by his attention. I pushed him between them to introduce myself, and then he kept calling me Joe. Nobody ever called me Joe. He was so distracted, he didn't care to meet his executioner. That was a month ago. They're still at it. What should I do about it? I hate secrets. I like things in the open, but if I say something, she might quit being so nice and tell me to shove off. She's never been so nice. Maybe she feels guilty or doesn't want me to suspect anything. So I'll just keep on fixing up her house and doing all the things I do for her. Maybe I'm winning and shouldn't worry. Maybe they'll have sex or have already had sex. If he could get her interested in sex again, that would be a blessing I might benefit from. This relationship needs a blast to blow it off dead center. Maybe he's a bomb and a blessing. I'm Jake Dial, Private Eye in Florida. You can find me in the book, Blood on the Forgotten Coast by William Shelley Gwynn. You can find it on Amazon.